Ham and Ray had a question. Where do you guys think the V9 missed the mark with the design that led to its early dissolvement of the committee? Kind of a hard-hitting one. So I will say, listening to people complain, I don't have... I haven't heard too many legitimate complaints about the actual rule set, but you guys burned a ton of capital with just the amount of time it took to get the first set of rules out. People were complaining before they even saw anything because it took so long, which you guys were trying to do your best and your volunteers, you're not getting paid. There's only so many hours in the day, but you burned so much political capital that people were soured on it before they even got their hands on it. And they said, screw it. There plenty of the people who are crapping on it have never touched it or read it or played it at all. That's not to say that there, there's definitely some things that I didn't like about it. Uh, I know you guys took out the natural armor for the, the one point natural armor for everybody. If you weren't wearing armor, that that was removed in the most recent one, right? Correct. Yeah. Natural armor was removed in last update. It was specifically to address uh, meta shifts ca caused by the natural armor. So that we can get feedback on the rest of the system instead of everyone's playing warrior because it gets two points natural armor. So no one gets to play anything else. Yeah, so that was one of the things I didn't like. I don't like how fast the leveling was. I don't know if you can fully understand a class in 20 weeks, but maybe I'm wrong. In my experience through uh, re-leveling a, a class and relearning a class was that even once you like get to max level on something and you've gone through the process... There's still a lot more to explore, and I'm pretty sure V9 would also be that way. So I'm not sure how much of the, the time between level 1 to 6 matters to me. Rather, it's the experience the person has used within that time frame, if that makes yeah, sense. That's, that is one of those changes that wind up being, uh, I don't want to say surprising and controversial, because at this point, I think every change is controversial to somebody. That's one of those features where we looked uh, at our survey data, and we're like, okay, how long do people want it to take to get to level six? And generally, the response we got was really confusing because they're like, okay, a year is a little bit too long. And uh, like 13 years, that's way too long. <laughs> uh, but then also, like, if you cut it down to like six months, they're like, okay, six months is like, okay, but also like five years is too long. I think in general, people think that you should be able to level up a class somewhat quickly. Uh, it should take a little bit of time, but there's a lot of classes in AFGARD. It takes a lot of credits to max out all of them. And I think people are really intimidated by that fact. Uh, so we went in and we took another step and we looked at, like, what does the average AFGARDer actually attend? Because it's really common to say, like, oh, well, it takes a year to get to level six because that's what happens when you show up every week and you get one credit every week. But nobody who's showing up every week gets like one credit every week. Uh, if they're showing up every week, they're probably getting like some kind of uh, bonus credits. Honestly, they're probably not showing up every week. So we did uh, some research on the orc and we found out that the average person who doesn't like stop showing up after uh, a couple weeks uh, shows up amp card. I want to say it's like 2.2 .2 or 2.3 times a month. So generally, uh, 21 credits, the level that we had for uh, getting level six, uh, is what the average Amp Carter gets in a year, which does hit that research thing of like, oh, people think it should take about a year, maybe a little less if you get bonus credits or whatever. But it comes across to people who spent all that time getting like 60 credits in previous editions or 53 credits in uh, V8 is like, wow, that's like a third of what I did. How are they going to possibly learn? It's a lot of competing factors at once that there's new players who are really excited about, oh, I can just level up multiple classes and because it takes longer at each succeeding level like i can try and be level three in a couple different classes in my first couple months that's exciting i can dabble i can try things out and then on the other hand you have people who are like well i don't think you can play wizard for 20 weeks and master everything about it and it's i think a really different expectations about what level six is for